Let me briefly go over about Chemistry Olympiad in this video. First, students who are interested in, in it must take local or regional test and it takes about 110 minutes and students who do well on it get to take the national test. Has, it has a three different parts. First is 60 multiple choice. The second part is free response. And third part is the lab practical. And I believe students who do well on the national get to be chosen to go to the, the camp. I believe it's the Naval Academy or Air Force Academy actually. And they get to spend two weeks and four people are chosen to go to the International Olympiad test. So having said that, let me go over uh, local test. There are 60 questions and there are enough time to solve. 110 minutes are given. Number two pencil and erasers are must to bring. And I highly recommend students also bring the student ID. And I saw the direction that says the writing on the booklet is not allowed. So ask for the scratch paper. Do not bring like TI-84 or Inspire calculator because they are programmable. So bring like numeric calculators such as TI-34. And number one through 42 in the test are mostly asking the quantitative. So you will need to use calculator extensively However, starting from about 43 through to the end, it's mostly qualitative problems. So students do not really need to use the calculator. For the prerequisite, I highly recommend the students uh, have taken at least AP Chemistry, if not, or if not, at least the Honors Chemistry. And this test is really for people who love chemistry. So despite you know your good performance on the AP exam if you do not like chemistry you know you don't have to take this exam because they ask a lot of detailed problems and how difficult is this test the local test is similar to the AP chemistry in my opinion however it has uh, more scope meaning it tests more range of topic so I would say the Olympiad is harder the national exam, on the other hand, is definitely harder than the AP exam. Be uh, this test is, like I said, has a lot of trivia questions, and there you also need to know a lot of trivial chemical reaction. The test is not uh, arranged in difficulty. The numbers on the questions are arranged rather in topic by topic the number the first set of problems start with like balancing concentrations and empirical formula and then they ask about gas and then follow the liquid and solution and then it moves to thermodynamics kinetics so usually the way how ap chemistry or college chemistry is taught in their curriculum and usually it ends with the organic chemistry and the biochemistry like you know they'll ask like you know uh, proteins leafage or some benzene and rarely do they ask the mechanism so, but then the national test the organic chemistry is definitely more covered so I highly recommend students also review the organic chemistry uh, topics uh, as they study for this test. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about the, I'm going to go over the local test 